Good day, good day. This is Wolf Howl at the Wolf's Howl, and we're back once again with some more Baldur's Gate action. I do believe we've solved that audio issue, so let's see what happens this time. Load up the game. Ah, there we go. Now it's showing the desktop desktop audio working. That game of loading. Let me work my magic. Now we're going to do that trick uh, to learn how to summon shovel no matter what class you are. Step one. Head back to camp. Step two. Talk to Withers. require a new ally, or mayhaps a resurrection instead. As thou desire. Reese back as a wizard. This uh, will work if you become any spellcaster, so sorcerer, warlock, or wizard, but I'm going to go with the tried and true method. No point in actually leveling up. And jump out of camp. and you shall find me. Have Gale 
come and shovel? Recognize the tiny fiend, a quasit. Wicked creatures often used as familiars. Wait, you're not Illy. And do not have Gale actually talk to Shovel beyond summoning him. No one back home will ever believe this. Now jump over to Cohiba, or whoever it is you want to actually have the permanent summon ability. What's up for discussion? Recognize the tiny fiend, a quasit. Wicked creatures often used as familiars. Wait, you're not Illy. Illy? My master, tall, skinny, prick with ears. So, you're Shovel's master now. Fine. You're a disgusting little creature, aren't you? <laughs> And you, slab of beef with nipples, moo! Your name is Shovel? Master Illy calls me Shovel. Don't like it? Change it! What would you like to be called? Don't care. It's important that you select the first option through all of these dialogues except one. Shovel is fine. So, well first, Master, gutting locals, raising the dead, making them walk, making them scream? Here is where you have to select the second option. Is that what your old master did here? Yes. Steal bodies, tear them, then Lily puts them back together, again and again. When he wasn't horny for the book. Oh, book this, book that. He loves the book. You have such a way with words. <laughs> Good with tongue. Good at cutting them out, too. Tell you secret. Illy weak. Illy never finish book. But master. Master can do it. Read book. Conquer book. Yes. And once you've had that conversation on the outside of the mirror, which we've already gotten past. What path lies before me? You go inside, making sure that Shovel's in as well, and talk to them again. Oh? <gasps> A spell shite! When the fisting starts, use the sparky magic to call Shovel. Let's kill everything. And there we go. We now have a find familiar as a permanent skill. Now we jump back to camp. And respect to whatever you want to be. In this case, obviously, I'm going back to Bard. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally, or mayhaps a resurrection instead? As thou desire. So for the bargain price of 250 gold, you can now summon that uh, quasit, no matter what class you are. got what my stats were. Let's tweak them a little bit. 30, 14, 12, 12. And put uh, charisma down to 16. So I'll still have the same bonuses. 
But now I got more points to spend. Let's bump up wisdom and strength. Let's put wisdom up to uh, 13. Change and reset my proficiencies. back up to three. Extra proficiencies into sleight of hand and persuasion. Unfortunately, fix my quick buttons. people who are hungry for power, but Gale takes it a bit too literally for my liking. I wonder how he does it. Why he does it. <laughs> I'm sure all will be revealed in time, but I don't like it. A waste of perfectly good treasure. insist on exhuming the past. I was a slave. A vampire spawn. 
one. Kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. But now, I've been conveniently lost. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free. And a true vampire. In theory? People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stick. It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power-hungry beasts. So why would any vampire give up control over a spawn to create a competitor? Trust me, it doesn't happen. I've already apologized. What more do you want? Unless you're looking for another nibble. Maybe later. No innocence. You have my word. Only villains that we need to kill anyway. After all, you know what I am now. I can fight with all my weapons. Teeth included. And if I happen to drain the occasional bandit during a fight, what's the harm? They're just as dead. As am I. I'm starting to feel a little peckish already. Let's see if there's any other interesting campsite discussions. Go ahead. I'm listening. Your enterprising approach to my problem is most encouraging. But it is a delicate process to keep my condition stable. I do not yet need to consume an item. I keep it close by. It will not be too much longer. What's on your mind? May the darkness protect you. I think I know what you mean. There's an undeniable rapport, and yet we haven't made time for each other. Time alone. Easily remedied, if you like. I know a place. Not just yet. Let's choose our moment. Some quiet night, when the others are asleep and there's no distractions. I'll come for you. Fine. What's on your mind? 
Does it even need to be asked? We're beyond me merely liking you. I think I'm a different person owing to you. You should come over more often. Positively voracious. Well, let him suck up all the magic he needs, as long as he doesn't snack on a Githyanki silver sword. I don't want to start uh, flirting with Lazelle if I'm going to be flirting with Shadowheart. I don't mind if I do. Gail slurped that thing up like a horse with a carrot. I hope he got what he needed from it. resembling Gith Yankee scripture. In an instant, Shadowheart hides the box from view. It's nothing. Trust me. Interesting choice of camp we have here, isn't it? Peaceful. the quiet here. Not like in the city where noise and life scarcely ever fall silent. It's not natural. You deserve honesty more than most. But please, don't ask. I can't promise that'll be any time soon, but thank you, all the same. be the perfect night to spend a little time together. Just you and I. Assuming you haven't changed your mind, of course. You made it. Come here. Sit with me. I'm surprised it took you this long. Well, to begin, I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? Bold. What does us entail? <coughs> I suppose I'll find out. To us. Now tell me something about yourself. And no tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins, or anything like that. Something about you.
Whatever I said about your kind before, trust I'll never accuse you of being boring. Don't stop now. Not just as things are getting interesting. Silver tongue. Don't laugh, but I'm not quite sure I have anything to share. When you worship Shard, secrecy is everything. We'll sacrifice our own memories when ordered to. A lot of the little things, they're lost to me right now. Perhaps. But please, enough about me. Sharing's bad for my complexion. There's still plenty of wine, and the whole night is ahead of us. Nearly light. The others will be awake soon. Another moment won't kill them, I suppose. Well, it might, but let's take that risk. Thank you for last night. Me too. Oh, yes. I suppose we'll have to. Oh, we should head back. Why did she disapprove of that? Am I getting a little too clingy with Shadowheart? Well, I hope. No. I just wanted to see how you felt after the night we spent together. When we talked. I thought you were going to kiss me. I was almost sure of it. I hope so too. Though I'm not sure what kind of courtship will be afforded, given all that we're facing. But if you want to see where this goes, I do as well. Very serious of you, but go ahead. Always good when I'm with you.
And we've already got the creepy book. Now we just need to get the amethyst crystal to open it. markings. Let's see. Missing children. Maggie Terrans, Marcus Terrans, Mathen Deach, Rochelle Kirk. growth of moss, the well looks unremarkable. Just a well, nothing to see here. disappears into the darkness, landing with a soft clink. Best not touch those webs or I'll end up as a meal. Thank you. 
I need to be sneaky for this. Let's be on my way. Spider boots. are uh, stuck together with thick webbing that uh, leaches the ink uh, when pulled from the page. Uh, only the final entry remains legible. It is time! I will forever transcend this uh, blasph blasphemous flesh and refashion myself in the Queen's image. No longer will I be bound to, to this lowly form, this base shape of organ and bone. Even the... Uh, Arachnomancers of, uh, oh, I can't even pronounce that word, uh, shall weep at my feet, for, uh, their little spells so feeble and fleeting. Today I found the House of Loth, and I shall be its matriarch. Somehow I don't think that's going to end up well for you. Let's 
go to the other end of this cave. Shovel meets shovel. Something didn't like that. Take a step back. I forgot to do something important. spells.
deep and move. Okay, let's see if I can get them across without triggering the web. Of course not. Sounds like something's less than pleased. the only one in combat. I don't want to do that fight solo.
everybody got across silently. Let's save that.
back in my sails. Let's have a look. Not doing too well at being sneaky at the moment. Another step forward. It's back here.
the part where you really need to be sneaky. One clutch of eggs down.
me. Run all the way over there. We're trying to do sneaky sniper stuff. Get this.
just on the edge. Let's see if I can take out the lower clutch first and then come back to that one. shoot the further away eggs without getting too close. It must be an angle thing. Or maybe that egg is just the trigger.
way. We can do this. We can do this. Time to press ahead. Whatever comes, I'm ready. I must keep going.
moving in. Okay, I think I got rid of all the eggs, so let's pull the trigger. Lost in thought. At least things have stayed interesting. on Gale.
Claude your test? Alrighty, now we've got that done. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Let's level everybody up. Take dual wielding, which will allow me to uh, have two rapiers. They don't really do a lot of concentration. Well, let's just check something. Spiritual weapon is not a concentration.
I think they're going to take the ability modifiers because none of the feats really seem to fit Shadowheart. So let's give her a bump to Wisdom and a bump to Constitution. looks like a sentinel. Are those the only level one or two spells that I don't know yet? Wow. Way to the nearest library. Okay, let's see if we can make it through reading the creepy book.
The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole, only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. Do this cleanly.
do. Very well. Out of this cave. anything else let's take a look of at your course. wares but please remember you're not the only one in need Thank you. 
Sylvanas be with you.
hell's take me? do for best tools. We're exposed now. And after that spider fight, I think they need a night's rest. Come to chat. What do you need? Very serious of you, but go ahead. Even if I could remember, I'm not sure I'd tell you. I don't want your ego to get overinflated.
Well met. What's on your mind? for your thoughts. No special reason, really. I was just practicing an incantation. describe it. The need I sometimes feel to see her. To draw the filaments of fantasy into existence. No sculpture or painting could ever do her justice. Only the fabric that she herself is and embodies. The weave. Mistra is all magic. And as far as I'm concerned, she is all creation. Magic is my life. I've been in touch with the weave for as long as I can remember. There's nothing like it. It's like music, poetry, physical beauty, all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. Is it the same for you? We're still playing the same composition. Perhaps I can show you what I mean by reaching into the weave together. Then follow my lead. Now you. Bar 
burn. I have to give it a little extra flair. Ah, oh, yes. The scent of rose water and a sense of well-being. A sliver of weave that tastes sweet on the tongue. Very good. Now, I want you to picture in your mind the concept of harmony. As true as you can. presence of Mistra, the Lady of Mysteries. There's something like the anticipation of a kiss, then the pleasure of being cloaked in peace. You are safe. You are nestled in the cup of Mistra's hand. I don't know if Shadowheart's <laughs> gonna like that. You did it! You're channeling the weave! How does it feel? to please, aren't you? The weave connects you. The moment feels intimate. The weave evaporates, and as it does so, you realize the night feels suddenly cold and lonesome. Oh, there it goes. How easily things slip away from us, no matter how hard they were in the obtaining. Good night. I enjoyed sharing a moment of magic with you. Well met. Yes, Kin. Speak. What can I do for you, my friend? My day just improved. Did you want something? Fine. What's on your mind? Quite splendidly, to give credit where it's due. You and I have shared some good times together, and it seems we have plenty in common. Soldier. Light blue. Now it's good to be alive. 
time. Would look like on Carlac. Oh, that looks better. Definitely better than the green. for steel. I have, well, something close. No! No second magical rapier. Well, sooner or later. Damn, Who 
uses walking at all. Seems like a good moment to talk. Hello, Petal. Need anything? Any lotions or potions? bother. Oh, sweetie. anything else of course but please remember you're not the only one in need
Sylvanas be with you. Place is this a path to redemption or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Why, I never... You're paranoid, aren't you? 
must be the surroundings, rather bleak and lonesome. One feels so exposed. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There, middle of somewhere. I don't like this at all. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. <laughs> Not easily rattled, I see. Good. Makes the next part that much more straightforward. What's better? than a devil you don't know. <laughs> a devil you do. Fuck. A cambion. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary. Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Come now. Why play hard to get when you're in deep over your tadpole head? One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. And what is madness? but a denial of reality. Still, I have a feeling you'll change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. That's what separates us from the devil, soldier. They think our greatest strength is a weakness. Pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. I think I'm going to take a quick break.
mic off.
mic on. And we are back. crevice lies a bag enfolded in the chicken squabbling of spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. You have no doubt, a spider egg is nestled within. Your voice draws their attention. They are suspicious and curious. And finally, at peace, one by one, the spiders retreat to the rear of the crevice, lulled by your murmurs. You stash the bag. Something clinks among the coins.
all that ends not as bad as it could have. happens. One thing I've never done in any of my playing. I've got two specimens of parasites here. Do I really need two? The parasite is stubborn. It refuses both to leave or to allow itself to be used as you desire. Apparently I just can't use them yet. Parasite is stubborn. It refuses both to leave or to allow itself to be used as you desire. So this I just failed to perceive. Of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I, I don't know what's come over these boys. Stop this. We, we won't ask again. Sweetie, be careful! She, she's with the hag! 
Don't bloody stand there gaping. Get her! Running away anytime soon. Fall by my hand. Oh my stars! I I didn't mean for this to happen. She's their little sister, and she's staying with me. This is all my fault. But I made a promise. Marina begged me not to breathe the word if they came looking for her, and my word is my bond. That poor thing would be distraught. We can't let her know it would break her poor heart. I'd best get going, but please stop by my house. I'd like to thank you proper. Did she fool us? runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be spotting anything with that. That's even worse. enough. Ah, I've wasted enough inspiration on that. The place has a quiet sense of calm. You can't see anything strange.
wants. Sheep's voice warbles. You realize it's trying to say bar. Um, bah! Curious. Despite your magic, the creature doesn't understand you. senses as the illusion vanishes. A diminutive creature sporting a red hat glares at you. He seems unaware that his illusion has failed. Pretending to be a sheep. Let's see if I can pick a fight with the red cap now. Adventure seeker, perhaps. Thank you. 
I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite and this pie is going to come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. Oh, if it isn't my hero. You took ages. Come in, come in. Feel free to relax yourself and have a cup of... Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Mayrina. I won't say it again. Thanks to you. You know, you're lucky. You've helped a very powerful lady. People in dire need travel from all over Faerun to see little old me. And I do my damnedest to help them. And you, Petal, well, you need a lot of help. That regular swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? Busy bodies are not appreciated around here. I don't like this. What's really going on here? I'll talk about your Riggler, and that's it. Last warning. You want to play the hero so badly? Fine. Let's make this interesting. Salvo. Now it's time for the red caps.
find your new friends. Bye bye. Ah, oh, I thought the Sentinel fall. would keep her there. Gail, you getting a bit peckish already?
condition is worsening again. I need to consume some powerful magic or it may become volatile. I will consume the magic inside. What was a powerful artifact will be rendered no more than a trinket. But it will save my life. Even if only temporarily. Let's see... What is the most useless item I've got here? No paladins in the party. Lunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. Somehow the second artifact hasn't had the effect of the first. Somewhat relieved the discomfort, but I fear my hunger hasn't quite. Ah! <clears throat> the magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle, the fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was too. A great deal of trouble indeed. They come, sweetness. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! Has that wriggler eaten your brain already? Leave, or you'll end up in tonight's stew. We'll go nicely with Marina. She's already marinating. This poor 
dear, wish never to lay eyes on her family again. My dearest Efren, he begged me to hold the deadly disease that ravaged him. Salutations. Never to lay eyes on her family again. within the door recoils. It can't let people through, not again. Images flash, a man cowering, a bag open at his feet. Gold coins spilling onto the floor. His cries for mercy are cut short as the hag slices into him, dismembering him painstakingly, limb by limb. She cackles, the man's remaining flesh twisted and contorted, becoming the twisted surface of the door before you. Flee, you feel it cry. A scene appears in your mind, two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? Naughty. That's a decade for each. You're mine for thirty more years, Pekka. You see an image of blue skies and sunshine as the door shudders a warning. Run. Its form flickers and you realize that the door is transparent. see the hag. She walks through the door, its form shimmering. The lightest touch of hope brushes your mind as the presence within retreats. A thief who tried to steal from Auntie. Now the good little pet guards my home. Don't Look. Don't! My gentle Lauren. He wished to know what was to come. Stop. Please. Please! No. No! Don't look. Mustn't look. Mustn't see. I see it. What's to come? You realize there's magic at work, some type of spell, an illusion. Me, dead, dead, flesh rotten, bone shining. Lies, lies, I see it, see truth, see death. 
all future. Always ask, never good, never see, never. Gods, don't hurt me. Oh, please, 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 please. suits you. Just relax. See the world with fresh eyes. And let your dear old Aunt Fiesta look after you. Wait! 
Don't look. Don't Heading then. Stop. Please. Please. Also no. under control. Stop. Please. Please. Okay, mental note, don't put on the mask.
much longer. No faith will guide me.
I'll take that. Time for some really heavy duty disarming.
forward. Step carefully. It's a trap. blood. Spot the vent. This makes my skin crawl. Don't take anything for granted in here.
another step forward. Ah, failed four times. Blood. 
No, never mind. Come on. Twice in a row! Hmm, I wonder if it'll let me jump over to camp so I can get a particular ring off of a Starion. Let's give it a shot! Yep. 
have my attention. Breathing, despite everything. How much further can I go? Direct me. It shall be done. getting frustrating i think i'm going to call it a stream because it's been you know four and a half hours uh but i can i will be back tomorrow no friday uh late afternoon for uh the next blood bowl game and we'll see when i'm feeling like a uh, boulder's gate but it will be in the very very near future Thank you very much. Have a good day.